Hi everyone, it's Jennifer from the Cash Stuffing Canuck and it's payday today, so that means it's time to do some cash stuffing. Hi everyone, as the intro said, it is payday today, so it's always a fun day in our household when it's payday because that means we get to cash stuff and fill up some more envelopes. So let me just grab my binder here and we'll get started. So first things first, I just wanna go through a couple quick changes here. In my last video, which I'll link up here where I was planning this budget, um, I underestimated how much I would be getting paid for my casual job and for my corporate job. So I got $10 more for my uh, corporate job and $25 more for my casual job. So instead of budgeting with $4,040, we have $4,075. So what does that look like? That means I'm putting an extra $5 into my business account an extra $5 into my tax account, an extra $15 into my extra line of credit payment, and $10 into our Windows payment. The one thing that I did forget to mention in our last video there, the budget with me, I didn't put $50 towards the Windows. The reason why I wasn't too concerned about that at the time is because we did pay over $2,000 um, towards the windows. Uh, we did make it, my husband made a $2,000 payment towards the windows. We had the window installers uh, come and they uh, did install the windows for us. Um, so my husband did make a $2,000 payment. So we did put in a little over $2,000 in payment toward the windows. So that's why I wasn't too concerned about the $50, but I am going to throw in another $10 there because we do have a small balance that we still owe. And one of the windows was broken. Um, so we will be we have delayed paying that window until we get the new window in um, and then we'll pay it then. So, all right. So let's get to the cash stuffing part. So I'll just start with a few things here. We'll go with my, my personal binder here. I'm just gonna move my calculator out of the way because I don't think we need it right now. And we'll just start budgeting for, uh, we'll just start putting cash in for, uh, the envelopes here. So we'll start with the extra line of credit. That one's at the top of the list here. So I will just take out the card here and we're gonna be putting in $215. So that's gonna be two, two 100s, a 10 and a five. So that's one, two, two 10, two 15. And we're putting that into the line of credit here. And I'm just going to update this tracker. Actually, I did, I put 315 in here, so I already have updated the tracker. Um, but what I can do is I can color in an extra dot here, an extra ball. So let me just grab a pin. Because I've made another $260 uh, payment towards my line of credit. All right, so that is at 215. All right, moving to the front again. Uh, 50th birthday, 50th birthday is going to get $20. I do have an idea now of what I might uh, use this money for. Um, there's a concert coming up later in the summer and I think I might want to go to that. So I'm gonna start saving for that. So I have 20 and 30 in my 50th envelope. So I'll just update that, $30. Beauty, Beauty is going to get 20, and that will be in a $20 bill. So that is 50, 20, that's $70. And I pre-updated my trackers here um, before I filmed, so um, I won't have to do that um, during this video, because the videos get quite long when you do that, so I'd just rather update uh, the one spot here. All right, bike locker and parking is getting $10. And that's 20 and 30, so I have $30 in that envelope now. And like I said in a previous video, I'm not sure if I will be keeping this locker. My bike is getting quite damaged in it. It's it's not that it's uh, too big for the locker, it's just the locker is very awkward. It's one of those square ones, but it's got a board kind of diagonally across and you just have to put the bike in just so in order for it to fit and it just keeps hitting on that board and hitting on the wall and 
it's scuffing things up and I'm not too happy about that. So, but for now I have it until August and I'll think about if I will continue that. All right, so birthdays uh, for me, this is for my family, birthdays and gifts uh, is getting $10. So I'll take that in a 10. So there's nothing in there now. So I will just um, add that in. So I have $10 in there to go towards birthdays. The next birthday coming up is my nephew's at the end of summer. So I have a little time to spend or save for his gift. Business is getting 105. So I have some money in here now. Just take that out. So that'll be a one and a five. So it looks like I have 120, 25 and 27. So $127 in business. Car maintenance is getting 10. So that is 100, 120, 130 in car maintenance. And this will be for things like oil changes. If I need new wipers, um, I'll just slowly keep building this up. My Christmas envelope is going to get five. And again, this is for my family. So I have 50, 55 and $60 towards Christmas. Clothing. Clothing is going to get 10. So that's 50 and 10 is 60. So 60 in clothing. Electronics is going to get 20. So that's 20 and 5. So $25 in electronics. The next is my emergency fund. And that is getting five. So we have 50, 55, 60, $65 in the emergency fund. And because these little raindrops equate to $5, I can color in another one. Oops, that's a really bad coloring job there, but there we go. And it's nice seeing that one grow because I've only been adding five dollars uh, every payday and uh, it's nice to see that grow so fun money is the next one that's going to be twenty dollars and there's nothing in there right now this is things that I spend from if I overspend on one category like dining out or something I have a little extra money I can put towards that so twenty dollars in fun money hobbies is getting fifteen So we have 50, 60, and $65 in hobbies. And again, hobbies, I use that for um, like running and pickleball. Personal vacation. Now, usually in personal vacation, I put $50 in a payday, but it didn't work out for me this payday. I had another envelope that I was uh, focusing on to uh, put a little bit more money into. So um, I'm only putting $35 in. I'll try and make up for that later on um, in the month of June. So I'm putting $35 in. So that'll be a 20, a 10, and a 5. And I do have some money already in there. So let me just get that organized and count. So I have 100, 200, oops, 220, 230, 235, 240. 247, uh, 247.15. I'm just going to put the 2.15 uh, aside because I don't want to keep change in here. Um, so I'll just put that in there. So that was 2.45. And I'll just update this tracker to show that I took out $2.15. Let me just count that again because my tracker is not reading right. Probably counted wrong. 100. 200, 220, 230, 235, 240. Yeah, so I have 240 in there, not 245. So I'll just uh, make that correction here. There we go. 
There we go. I like to work with even numbers if I can. All right, personal shopping. Personal shopping is getting $10. I do have money in there as well. So $10 in personal shopping. So I have 10, 15, and four is 19. And so I will keep these two tunies in there because I am saving up for um, running shoes. So I said I had $19 in there. There we go, but actually I have more than that. I have 149. So let me just, so I'm kind of all over the place here today. So 149. Right, so 149 is in my personal shopping, which is for my running shoes. And then I have my tax account. So my tax account is getting $105. Just take out this as well. So we're putting in 105. And I think I might be able to put a placeholder in here. So let me just count that up. 100, 200, 300, 400, 450, 500, 505, 510, 512, 513. So I do, I have a, enough for a placeholder in there. So I'll just tuck that off to the side here and I'll grab a placeholder for 500. There we go. And I'll put that in here. So I have 513. So I have 513 in my tax account. So I feel like I'm ahead of the game. All right, tires is getting $13. So that'd be a 10 and a two and a one. So I got 20, 30, 40, and $43. So $43 in tires. And I will keep this, uh, these, uh, the loose change in here. And this is going to be something I'm saving up for over the next year and a bit because in the fall of 2025, I'll need new tires. All right, so that's it for this binder. The next one is going to be our joint sinking fund binder, which is this one here. And we're going to put $10 into the buffer. So we have 10, 20, $25 into the buffer. Bulk buys, we're gonna put five in. So I have 10, 15, and 20 in bulk buys. Dates and activities, we're putting in 50, and we have a 20 in there already. So I'm just gonna tuck that one aside for Ireland. So we'll put the $50 into dates and activities. Health, we're gonna be putting in five. So we have 20 and five is five, so $25 in health. Home decor, we're gonna be putting in five. We have 50, 70, and 75 here. Household is getting five. So that's 100, 120, 140, 145, and 150. So that's one. So I'll put 150 here. And this one I'm this one is fully funded for me. I don't want to put any more money in here moving forward until we start spending from it. So I'll just grab a fully funded placeholder. There we go. And we'll put that in the front here so that I know it's fully funded. That's my very first fully funded envelope for our joint stuff. I'm super excited about that. 
All right, uh, one month ahead. So one month ahead is going to get $5. So we have 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30 in one month ahead. Pets is going to get 50, and this is a rolling sinking fund, so we always add to it. So we have 50, 120, 125 in pets. Toby has a vet appointment coming up next month, so that'll help with that. The roof is going to get $5. So we have 50 and five is $55. All right, and then I'm just gonna scoot down to Ireland here. Ireland, we were gonna put $170. There's 170 plus this 20 that I just took out of uh, dates and activities. So $170 into Ireland. So we now should have 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 in the bank. One, two, three, four, 455, 550, 570, 590, 610, 630, so 5630 in Ireland. And that means that I can fill in another uh, tracker color. So I'll just grab my pen here, just color in this one. This has been fun to see grow because when we first started, we only filled in the first three, and now we're more than halfway there for our Ireland trip, and it's we still have a few months to go, and I'm hopefully we'll get there, uh, saving up the ten thousand dollars. But it's been exciting to watch this grow for sure. All right. So the next is going to be in our savings challenges binder, and that's the white one here. This is a new binder that I just got because my envelopes were getting so uh, stuffed in these binders here. I thought I might as well buy another little binder just to put the savings challenges in. So we only do two. We do a roll of dice and this new one, which is the 100 envelope challenge. So for roll the dice, we're putting in $17. So a 10, a five, and our last two me here. And I don't like to count this one to see how much we have in there. So I'll just leave that for now. But I did make a note which dice that I need to color in here. So I'll just grab my pen. And we're going to color in a one. Another one. A four. A five and a six. There we go. Do you guys do savings challenges? Let me know in the comments below if you do. I really have been having fun with the roll the dice one. I love gamifying things, so this was super fun for me to do. Um, the next one is. Um, I'm just going to mark that. The next one is our 100 envelope challenge. And this is one that I created. Um, it's based off of other ones that I've seen where you put in like a dollar for each envelope. So one, two, three, four, all the way up to 100. Some people round up. In Canada, it's really hard for us to, uh, we because we're working with change. Um, I think it's like that in the UK as well. Um, but um, I created this one called 5 to 25. So it's just a little, it's just one that's going to help me for lower income or lower savings, I guess, lower my, I don't have a lot of money to put towards these types of savings challenges. So this one just goes up in fives up to 25 and then it goes down to five. Um, so it does that for the hundred envelopes. And by the end of this, it'll have $1,515. I do have this um, in a bundle with the more traditional hundred envelope challenges on my Etsy shop and one where you round up by five so that for us Canadians and those without coins, uh, we can just put $5 in increments in. 
So those are on my Etsy shop and I'll link that down below. I have a digital one and a, a physical copy that I'm selling. So we'll just color in the first envelope here, which is the five. And I think I'm gonna use the blue for this one. And I'll just put five here for roll the dice because this is one I do want to keep track of. And what we're going to do with the, this money is we're going to see how much we can save throughout the year. And then come December, however much money we have in here, we're going to use that to put an extra payment on our mortgage. Uh, interest rates are super high right now and we have a lower mortgage and we want to put as much as we can to the principal to kind of help um well we can because we know next year when we have to renew our interest rate is likely going to be a lot higher uh, than what we're paying now i think we're about two percent so it's probably going to be closer to 4.5 or almost five percent uh come next year so we're trying to stay on top of that all right so that's that for our savings challenges and then last but not least is my wallet and you can see that I spent everything that I had from the last payday uh, in here. My coffee and snacks, I started, I believe, with $15. I have 20 cents left. So I'm going to give myself $20. Just make a note here. And then dining out. Again, I spent everything in dining out. So I'm putting $30 into dining out. And then last but not least is miscellaneous and I spent everything in miscellaneous. So that's just gonna get a $5 bill. All right. And as I've mentioned in previous videos, I got this wallet from uh, The Line, which is a company in Vancouver. I love their products. I do get asked in some of my DMs on Instagram where I get my binders. So this one I got from The Line and um, I had them make custom um, cash envelopes for me. Um, I'll link them down below. And for my binders, I got them off Amazon, these ones, uh, just because there's so many of them that I wanted to get um, in the different colors. Um, those ones I got on Amazon and I'll have a link to those ones below as well. All right, so miscellaneous has five. So that's it for the cash stuffing part. But now we are going to put some money back to the bank. So I've got my two deposit here. So we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 450 and $500 to go back to the bank. And I'm just gonna quickly go through my envelopes to see if there's anything that I can condense uh, so that I can hold on to the higher bills and, um, and, and take back the smaller bills. So we'll just start with this one here, which is my uh, sinking fund envelope. So I have $30 there, can't do anything there. Same with beauty. Bike locker and parking, I don't have anything there. Birthdays, business. Now business, I have 127. Don't think I can do anything there. Car maintenance, nope. Christmas, nope. Might not be able to do anything in here um, with this high amount of money. Uh, nope. Line of credit, I have money in there. Personal shopping. Uh, I don't think I can do anything in here because I think the 130 that I have is on gift cards. Personal vacation. Now I might be able to do something in personal vacation. So let's just see if I can. Uh, nope, I can't do anything in personal vacation. So this might be a lost cause here. <laughs> All right. We took that money out of the tax account and tires was 43. So nope, nothing in there. I think that's pretty much it. Um, don't think there's anything else that I can condense in here, but we'll just check. Both buys, dates and activities, health, home decor, household. Well, I might be able to put $50 into the household, so let's just see if I can do that. Yes, I can do that. That'll be 150 in there. 
Ireland, I'm not really worried about Ireland at the moment because I'll be taking that money back to the bank shortly as well. One month ahead, no pets. Pets is 125. Might be able to put $100 in there. Yes. And roof, no, but I will see if there's 20, if any 20s that I can put in here. And I can. Let's get this back. All right, so I'm going to put $20 into bulk buys. Put a 20 in here. Oops, I already got a 20 in there. One month ahead, 25. I know I can do that. I can put in a 20 in here. So let me just uh, I'll know if I have something done something wrong when I count this at the end and I have more than five hundred dollars. <laughs> We go any further just to make sure I still have five hundred dollars. So one, two, three, three fifty, four, four fifty, four sixty, sixty-five, seventy, seventy-five, eighty, eighty-five, ninety, ninety-five, five hundred. Okay. All right. So we're good there. And I'll just quickly go through my envelopes one more time here, just to make sure I can't condense any further, because in particular, this envelope, this binder is quite thick. So if I can thin it out a bit, I will, I would like to do that. So I don't think I can really do anything in here. Oh, I think I can do a 10. can't do anything in there I think no nope. all right before I continue to confuse myself I think I'm just going to stop there because I think that's all I can really do in here um so yeah because I don't have anything else all right so let's just count this up 100, 200, 300, 350, 4, 450, 455, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 500. All right, so I'll put $500 and this is going to go into our savings account. Um, and this will be going to well my tax account. Um, so when I go to the bank, I will deposit that in and we're good there. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add this money to uh, my little coin box here. Um, and then eventually, when it comes time to emptying this out, I will uh, take this to the bank and put it on my line of credit. All right, so that's everything for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like to subscribe to my channel, uh, hit that subscribe button. It lets me know that you are enjoying this content. If you'd like to watch more videos that I have, I'll link a playlist up here. And uh, yeah, until next time, bye for now.